Hello everyone, my name is Tung, currently a research scientist at Agriculture Victoria focused in dairy genomics. In this talk, we will explore the discovery of structural variant in Bosporus and tease out some very early data. Let's dive in. First thing first, let's talk about structural variant. This is a type of genomic variation that is larger than 50 base pair and can include deletion, duplication, and inversion. You might be wondering why we would like to catalog this type of variant in the context of farming. Well, there are several reasons for that. First, they are responsible for Mendelian disorder, which can, which can be um, causing problems by just uh, single genes. We also believe that structural variant can influence complex traits such as milk production, for example. And uh, finally, we think that structural variant can provide a lot of insight into the biology and evolution of this species. Very recently, together with the University of Queensland in Australia, we kickstart the bovine long read consortium, a consortium to build a population scale long read sequence that enable the discovery and trying to impute the structural variant. Together, the bovine long read consortium, the 1000 bull genome projects, and the bovine pan genome consortium are working together to improve our understanding of the genomic basis of traits and condition in cattle with the ultimate goal to improve the health and productivity of these important animals. We have a lot of interest from many organizations and keen to know more if you are interested in this sphere of research. The Bovine Long Read Consortium is attempting to implement a single pipeline can be deployed with NextFlow. Due to the limited time frame of our presentation, we would not be able to cover every step of this pipeline, but reach out to me for further inquiries. We applied Valor to study a cohort of 20 Holstein and 20 Jersey using Oxford Nanopro Promethean with various coverage as shown in this figure. One of the first things we did was to count the number of structural variants in the cohort. We found that the majority of structural variants are insertion and deletion and with a smaller number of other type of variation and the majority of them are lesser than 1 kb. We also tried to plot the length of structure variant against its allele frequency. What we found out is that long structure variant tends to be very rare in the discovery cohorts. At breed level, we would be able to find structure variant that are unique in each breed and share between the two breeds. In general, longer structure variant are more likely to have a low allele frequency, particularly among structure variant that are unique to one breed. This perhaps could be due to the fact that longer structure variants are usually more harmful toward the genome and therefore subject to negative selection. On the other hand, the shared structure variants uh, show a higher proportion of structure variants with moderate and higher frequency. This suggests that the structure variant may be older and have no neutral or favorable effect that were not subjected to negative selection. Using this data, we are able to confirm structural variant that has previously been known in the literature. For example, this is a 12KB copy number variant that are found exclusively in the Holstein cohort but not in the Jersey cohort. We also have the capability to detect new and novel structural variants that are exclusive in one breed and not the other. For example, this 14KB deletion that happens only in Holstein and this overlap a transcript that was annotated to be a pheromone coding genes. However, we would like to further discover, this, discover and confirm the function of this structural variant in the future. So in conclusion, and uh, for some further perspective that we have within our data, we think that long read are a powerful tool for characterizing structural variant. And looking forward, we plan to use this uh, platform to improve the accuracy of single nucleotide polymorphism, as well as trying to merge and phase structural variant. We are also in interested in looking more closely at the overlap of structural variant on functional gene, as this could provide many insight into the biological consequences of the structural variant. Finally, I would like to acknowledge the co-author that assists in this study, the HPC, where the analysis has been committed, as well as the funding body that provides funding for this study.